What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Copycat Cocktails. My name is Josh. And my name is Taylor. <laughs> this week, we are not getting kicked off the show. We are here. We're making the Nautilus 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, there's supposed to be, like, bubbles coming out of my mouth right there. Like, um, I think everybody knows that this is actually Josh. Some of you may have noticed. So... Uh, yeah, this week is, uh, this is a huge drink. There is a lot that goes into this. Um, if you've never been to Trader Sam's before, this is um, the most expensive drink on the menu. It's the largest drink on the menu, and it's most expensive because it's just, it has so much alcohol in it. So, and if you don't know, this is what the Nautilus is served in. So it's this giant 20,000 leagues under the sea submarine, um, and it's pretty cool. So first edition, Pretty proud of it. Wasn't proud of it when we bought it. It was expensive. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you ready to break right into it? Let's do it. All right, let's I'm do it. About this. Perfect. Uh, definitely one to share. No way. Oh. Okay. So a lot is going to go into this. I don't know that we're going to actually be able to shake it. Or I guess you yeah. said we might have to roll it. We might just have to roll it back and forth and hope for the best. Alrighty, well, so uh, of the huge list of ingredients that we have here, we're gonna start with our lime and lemon juices. So basically we're gonna need one ounce of lime and one ounce of a lemon. Lime and lemon are down, we're gonna move on to adding some sweetnesses. We're gonna use agave nectar uh, as per the wonderful recipe that we found online via Reddit. And we're gonna go with three ounces of agave nectar. All right, so next we're gonna use three ounces of falernum. So uh, next, after the falernum, we're gonna do three ounces of pog juice, and our pog is going to be passion fruit, orange, and guava. Next thing that we've got to do is add some peach schnapps. Uh, this is like one of Taylor's like favorite things. Schnapps. Schnapps. Not schnapps. Schnapps. Schnappies. I can't actually look like I'm having too much fun because then everybody thinks that I was like heavily drinking before we started for some reason. So one ounce of peach Schnappies. And this does, I mean, it does smell pretty good. I like it. It's kind of like uh, having a little peach ring. I hate peach rings. Except for when they're, <laughs> except for when they're in the Seven Seas drink. That's oh, the only time they're good. That is when they are good. We should make that sometime. You should uh, throw up a video clip of you two drinking it. Oh, yeah. Or the good. picture I, I have. I have to find it, though. I don't remember when I'll that was. I'll find it on my phone. It's one of my favorite photos. <laughs> Next is where it gets its kick. It's the two ounces of a Jamaican rum. We're gonna use plantation rum, and then two ounces of rum barbecue. This is a new ingredient for me. I'd never even heard of this until Josh bought it. Um, but it's this rum barbecue, court, and they even spell it differently, because I guess that makes it different. Makes it unique. Yeah, um, I but know. I don't know, they use some sort of, um, uh, tropical juices in this rum as well. So this will be interesting. Whoa, what does it smell like? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it... <laughs> it smells okay. It smells nice and fruity. Oh, weird. I've never... But it, it also it has like a... It doesn't smell like rum. It does not smell like rum at all. At all. It smells like, just like fruit. Oh, maybe if somebody didn't like rum, that'd be a good sub. Who knows? Just pour a little bit in there. I just want to try it. Oh, here we go. Oh. Just a little bit. <laughs> he wasn't drinking heavily before this, but now he is. It's pretty good. It's got like a nice, what is it, like pine, like pineapple mango almost. Nailed it. Pineapple, um, mango, and spice. Yeah, and I get the spice because there's like That's a little awesome. bit of a burn, but not like a, a hard like alcohol burn. It's like a spicy. I like it. That's you're actually rum, really good. You're a rum connoisseur now. Ooh. I'm going to go to uh, Trader Sam's and do the rum flight. Oh, I've yes. been wanting to do that. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I was kidding. I'm not kidding. We need oh, the okay. souvenir glasses, and we're going to steal the surfboard that you're not Wow. Cut that out. Disney knows where to find us, don't they? <laughs> I'm going to leave that in because that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, all right, so last... Thing that we need to do before we shake this well which we're probably not going to be able to do um is we need to do five dashes of bitters and i'm actually gonna let josh do this because he is the professional uh bitter dasher 
because I can't ever do this. I always waste them. All right, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna add our ice in here and um, Good it's not gonna fit once we put ice in there. So, all right, here we go. I've never done this before. Oh, it smells so good. I'm making a mess. So obviously you don't actually have to have vessel, the, the Nautilus vessel to serve your drinking. But of course, it makes it so much better. Um, you, you you probably should have not gotten rid of that because... Oh, yeah. No, no, you can... No, this is the towel because uh, oh, this yeah. is probably going to go everywhere, I bet. Um, yeah, here we go. Good luck. I don't know which way is the best way to pour this. Here we go. And it's going everywhere. So we could probably add a little bit yeah. more ice. I think so. All right, there we go. We got it. So we do have some fun little straws. All right. I really don't like this drink. All right. This has got to be different than what I've had at Trader Sam's because I feel like I did not like this when we had it at Trader Sam's. It's almost got like a... Yeah, it's like super, back. super sweet. Um, I actually wonder if it's the agave. That's what I'm thinking. Too. And if we back down the agave a little bit, because it is really, really sweet. Really sweet. So I, I think, uh, I mean, it's still a really good drink. Um, I would actually drink this probably, I would attempt to drink it by myself. Um, but it is still a little too sweet. It's very sweet. And, yeah. I, and yeah, I think, what do you think? I almost think. Knock it down like... I can taste that wrong. I even want to try to cut out all of it because I feel like this is very sweet, this is really sweet, and all of these fruit juices already had so much sweetness to the drink. Let's try and make it again. And so what we're going to do for this is we're going to just cut the whole recipe in half and we're going to... Do we still want to eliminate the agave altogether? I think so. I yeah. really do. Um, and if it doesn't seem to be sweet enough, then maybe we can just add it for sweetness at the end. Yeah, that's Before great. maybe we finish the pour in the glass. Yeah, that's perfect. Boom. Bang. That is a huge difference, and I like that a hundred times better. Oh, okay. I can't wait to try this. Oh my gosh. Night and day difference. Night this, and day difference. This is so much better. And, oh, that is delicious. Um, and even with that, so if you're going to make this single serving uh, for yourself, what I would say is oh, yeah. you could even, you, you could, you think you could maybe get away with I would almost say you could almost do both the the two ounces of both rums, mm -hmm. or maybe bump it up to an ounce and a half for each. Oh yeah, an um, ounce and, and a half would be nice. And then just keep yeah. everything else like we just did by cutting it in half. Yeah. So, because um, I I think that is oh, yeah. much better, um, and not as much of a bite from the alcohol. And I think you know, if, I mean, if you want it a little bit more strong, add a little more. That's a really good point. I didn't even think about that. A lot of the tiki drinks that you get are super harsh. Whereas this one kind of tones it down and so does the schnapps in a way. So oh, that's that's a fantastic drink. Whew. All right, cool. Well, uh, cheers to another cheers. excellent episode of Copycat Cocktails. Yeah, awesome. And we'll see you all in the next one. Oh, so much better.